Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'll show you how to create custom layouts in OneDJ from Audio Artery. OneDJ features a completely customizable user interface. Unlike other DJ software applications, you can configure OneDJ to look exactly the way that you would like. Now, the software comes with a few stock layouts that you can choose from by clicking on the Layouts button up here in the top right. To create a new layout, you want to go ahead and press the New button at the bottom of this menu. It'll ask you if you want to switch to a layout that has fewer decks, and as long as you don't have any tracks playing, you should be fine, so you're going to want to click the Switch button. Now, when you create a new layout, you'll see that it is basically a blank canvas. You're going to have to go in and add the mixer, players, and effect units all yourself. So to do that, you want to go ahead up to the gear menu, then you're going to want to click Add Gear, and it's going to give you a list of the four different options that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and create sort of a standard DJ mixer with two players. So first I'm going to go ahead and select player. You can see that player one pops up. I'm going to click add gear. Again, select player. Now I have player one and player two. Then I'm going to go ahead and select mixer to add a mixer that will be able to mix the two tracks together on. Now the great thing is that all of these layout sections can be moved and resized to your liking. So if you want to move a layout section, simply click and drag on the section header, so for example mixer 1 or player 2, just simply click on where it says player 2 and you can kind of drag it around. Now one thing that's also great is that these objects will snap to each other, so you can see as I get next to this object it'll kind of snap to that particular one and it won't necessarily go over, and that's great if you want to resize these particular layout options. So to resize any of them, you can simply hover your mouse over one of the sides or the corners and then just drag them out. You'll see that it kind of snaps in place there. Before you can actually start mixing with the new layout, you have to configure one TJ's audio output routings. We're going to go over audio output routings in a future video in more depth, but for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to first click on the overview option in the top right. Now this shows you how the audio is being routed out of one DJ, and currently the two players would just send sound right to my speakers. But what I want to do is send them to the mixer first so that I can do some internal mixing. So what I need to do is grab the output from the player, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to the mixer, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the second player's output and send it to the mixer. Now when I make this change, you'll see that behind everything, that the faders and EQs on the mixer pop up, whereas they did not come before, as everything was set to just go out to my speakers. So when I'm happy with that, I can simply click on the overview button to exit the audio output routing options. And now that I'm happy with my glorious layout of two players, one larger than the other, and a simple mixer in the middle, I can then go ahead and click on the Layouts option, and I can then double click on the name of this layout, so I'll call it Excellent, because it is so awesome, and then I'll press Enter. Then I can press the Lock button, and that will prevent me from accidentally moving the layout sections around. One DJ is currently available for Windows only, but a Mac version will be coming soon. To learn more about One DJ, go over to one.dj and download the core edition of the software. If you want to see more One DJ video tutorials in the future, subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at the DJ and let us know what topics you'd like to see covered on this piece of software.